Hello guys and welcome to the next video in the Titanic series. Uh, before we get started though, I want to just thank everyone for the support uh, for my first video. It did much better than I expected. And before we get started, if you like the content and want more like this, make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe. I'm trying to build up a following here on YouTube and every little bit helps. Thank you all so much for your support and everything you've done to help me out so far. Thank you. I couldn't do it without you. All right. So this is the Titanic series, episode two. And on this series, we are going, on this episode, we are going to talk about the coal fire that was actually on board the Titanic. Now, until recent times, the coal fire was... A little tiny bit of history that only really big Titanic historians actually knew about or really even cared about. It wasn't really that big of a deal. But this documentary came out about a year or so ago, maybe a couple of years, and it made it seem like the fire actually caused the disaster. And all because of one photograph that, or a couple of photographs, but that supposedly show a black smudge that supposedly weakened the hull to the point of failure. I will show that here. If you look at this photograph of the Titanic's hull, you'll see a black smudge on the left side of the hull. It is this photograph that is the source of all the coal fire rumors. This is the exact same photograph, just blown up so you can see the burn area in more detail, or supposed burn area, I should say. Yeah, so on those photos, you clearly see that black mark, and there is some debate as to what exactly those black smudges are. I'm more of a fan of that it's a smudge on the camera, personally. But the black smudge, this is just my model, shows that the black mark is kind of right around here. And so that they say that this is the area that the fire was and how it weakened the hull and warped the hull. However, that isn't where the fire was. Right here on this area, if you take a look at Titanic's blueprints, this is where the mail room is. So for that black mark to have been caused by the coal fire that supposedly weakened the hull to the point of failure, the mail room would have been on fire. But that's not where it was. It was actually in the uh, mail, uh, mail, it was in the coal bunker of boiler room number six. Uh, I will show you exactly on the next graph where the fire was. As you can see from this chart, the purple mark shows exactly where they say the fire was, and the orange dot is where it actually was. So as you can see, the fire was nowhere near as bad as they made it out to be in the documentary. It was much smaller. Okay, so as you can see from that graph, that, is, that shows you exactly where the fire was in relation to everything. So that clearly disproves the photographs that that had anything to do with the coal fire. And they also like to say that the coal fire actually caused the sinking. But even if it was bad enough to actually warp steel or something like that, I mean, you're still talking about damage. Like when the ship hit the iceberg, you're talking about damage from the front of the ship to all the way to aft of the first funnel. That is a colossal amount of damage. And it didn't weaken the hull to that point. Frederick Barrett was the lead fireman in boiler room number six and the only man who survived that we have testimony of who actually saw the iceberg damage. And he retreated into boiler room number five after the ship started to sink. And it breached, the iceberg breached two feet into the coal bunker of boiler room number five. And that was kind of the tipping point between if the Titanic could stay afloat or not. And at a certain point in the sinking, Barrett said that the entire wall caved in and the room just got overwhelmed in seconds. But in that documentary, he likes to say, well, that was the bulkhead failing. But what it seems like it more was, the tear was inside the coal bunker of boiler room number five. And it's more likely that, that that sheet of metal that was holding the coal back in boiler room number five was not watertight. And it seems like that that bulkhead just failed from all of the pressure, not the watertight bulkhead, just the coal bunker sheet of metal that was holding the coal back. Wasn't designed to be watertight and the water pressure just got too much. And the coal fire really had nothing to do with the structural integrity of the Titanic or how it sank. All right, guys. Well, I hope this uh, video was informative for you. And thank you so much for tuning into episode two on the truth of the coal fire. I'm going to be doing more of these videos. So make sure you like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. And thank you all for your support. I'm having a blast making these videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a good evening.